What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. We're gonna start with a straight line coming down the center page. We're just gonna go over towards the right side. It's gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now let's go back to the center, draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side, going out, and all the way across towards the right. Now we want to use these lines to help us create a circle. From the center, let's step up towards the top. It's going to mark off the top of our circle. Let's take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now we want to repeat that across this horizontal line. So taking that distance from the center over towards the left and the right side. Now we want to connect the center point with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement on the top of our page. We can always go back and just smooth this out, but we'll eventually be erasing this out. Now we're gonna be drawing this character from the side, so let's start by blocking out the basic shape. Now the neck is gonna connect from the center of our circle, come down in an angle towards the bottom of our page. Let's go to the right side of our circle, draw a straight line coming down the front of the face. Just gonna angle this down and then in towards the bottom of the chin to right about there. And then angle this out towards the bottom of our circle on the left side. Now you wanna add some thickness to the neck. Right where the jaw meets that center line, it's gonna follow that same angle coming down and then across towards the bottom. And we'll see the back of the neck along the top, just on the side of the circle. And we're going to place the eye just underneath that center line from the side. So up here, it's going to angle this down and across, come down and forward. Now we're going to connect the top and bottom with a curve for the front edge of the eyeball. Let's follow this line out towards the brow. It's going to angle this up, then go straight back. Let's add some shape to the profile edge of the head. In the center of the eye, we're going to step out. It's going to angle the brow going up and then out towards the outside of our circle. Let's go back, angle the nose, coming down and out. Let's draw the top edge of the mask from the outside of our circle. It's going to bend this down just underneath the eye and in. Angle this up towards the center of our circle. Let's add a curve for the front edge of the hood. From the front of the brow, we're going to step up. It's going to bend this across and then just bring that down towards the bottom of the neck. Let's extend this out so we're going to wrap this around the forehead, then it's down and back in. Let's go back to the base of the head. I'm just going to add a trim for the collar. I'm going to come down and in, and then bend that down towards the front of the neck. Now from the bottom of the neck, we're going to curve the shoulder going up and then out. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more shape to the head. Starting from the back, going up, Add some harder angles going up towards the top of the hood, and then out and then down towards the front. Now I'm going to add some basic shapes for that detail inside the mask. Starting from the top left, I'm just going to angle this down, connect the top and bottom with a half circle coming towards the front, and then back down. Now from the top right, going up and out, then this down towards the bottom, angle that back. In. Now with a rough sketch in place, let's clean this up by erasing some of these guidelines. And now we're going to go ahead and start adding some details and refining the shape. Let's start with the eyes. We're going to start with the top of the eyelid. So we'll work our way up, just darkening up the contours and adding some folds as we go. And working our way across the bottom of the eye. And some wrinkles across the side of the eye. And we'll layer the brow on top. I'm just gonna lightly shade that in.
I'm also going to add some bumps across the front edge of the hood. I'm adding some folds. And just wrap this around the forehead. Just going to darken up the top. And I'm going to extend the mask going out past the side of the head on the top. We're also going to add a thick bevel along the top. I'm just going to refine that detail on the side of the mask. I'm just going to add a fold coming in on the top to continue along the top of the head. Now along the back, I'm just going to add some folds coming in and then down. Let's add a little bit of tension across the hood, starting from the bottom going up. I'm just pulling those lines going across the base of the neck. I'm not going to add too much detail across the shoulders or the body. I'm just going to fade this out. And we'll come back and add more detail to the neck area, starting with the collar. Add some folds across the front. Now let's add that seam across the hood. Now I want to switch to a pencil with an open sheath to add our shading with the side edge of our pencil. So we're going to start with the neck area. Start from the bottom just lightly add that shading going up. And we're going to work in each section at a time. So just fading that up to create a bit of a highlight in that strap. And then from the back, coming down. I'm not going to add too much shading to the body. We just want to fade this out. Just working away from the bottom and going up. Now the hood's going to cast a shadow across the edge of the face. So it's going to darken up the edge and then fade that in. I'm just adding a little bit of shading from the outside of that seam just to enhance that tension going across. Now 
I'm just adding that shading to the face. I'm just going to add a glare along the right side of the mask, starting from the top, and just needing a little bit of highlight trim along the outside. Let's go back and add a few cracks across the mask. Now, as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll just tighten up the detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you, and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description, and I'll see you in the club.